everyone and welcome back to another episode here in my channel so right now i am not anymore in maldives <laughs> i am at changi airport i am at our holding area where i'm going to stay overnight um for before my flight to cebu so i flew earlier from male to singapore and now I'm going to have a layover here in Singapore overnight, more than 12 hours. <laughs> and then tomorrow is going to be my flight to Cebu. So um, for those who are flying and will, having, will, will be having a transit here in Singapore, this is how one of the holding areas look like. So these will be like the makeshift beds, you know, if, if you see those benches. Um, you can stay there, you can lie down there for the night. Um, there is no free food provided. You need to bring your own or you can buy from these vending machines right here. So, yeah. So, yeah, there. So, you can buy there and then you can bring mm -hmm. also your um, empty water bottles to be refilled over there. So yeah, you can get both hot and cold water. The toilets are there as well. And there are more vending machines over there. And then this like table, long table is charging station. But in between those benches, there will be like some charging stations as well. So yeah, this is gonna be my night. Um, if If you wanna book a hotel within the airport you can do so um yeah I, i'm i'm not sure how much it costs i think it'll be expensive but yeah for me we are we are resourceful and we are practical so staying here is not a problem staying here in the holding area is fine um yeah what else so oh by the way earlier when i left male they only asked when i checked in they only asked for my Cebu barcode, which you can get from Mactan Cebu um, website, the Mactan Cebu International Airport website. And then they asked also for my passport and my negative PCR test. So anyway, I prepared a lot of things. I prepared my um, IMUGA, um, that is the health declaration in Maldives. So I prepared that and then I showed it before I got in the airport and then next was yeah the negative rt-pcr test should be taken within 72 hours of your flight and then um my mactensib international airport barcode and then one health pass although they didn't ask it for me and then i also prepared a booking confirmation in a hotel because last week when emil left he was asked for a hotel booking confirmation which was weird because if you're an OFW they shouldn't ask that for me but I prepared but luckily they didn't ask it for me so yeah I was ready I was prepared of course you have to bring your passport you cannot go anywhere without your passport and yeah that's it that's it for me so I'm gonna be staying here sleep here and yeah I'll, I'll keep you updated tomorrow how will it go um yeah oh by the way if you are gonna use the vending machine you need to um, change your money to singapore dollars because they only accept singapore dollars so yeah keep that in mind Finally board the plane going to Cebu. Hey 
Chan and his crew would like to welcome you to Cebu. To all Filipinos and residents of Cebu, America. Special seekers, welcome to Cebu. Please stand by for the Cebu Declare All the Countries. Nasaod na ba lahat? Okay, tandaan nyo po ito. Yung sword nyo ngayon, wala kayong matatanggap sa email. As monitoring lang. Kung may mag-positive ban, mas maaga malalaman. Hey everyone! After a very long flight, I have finally checked in here at Citadens Hotel. This used to be um, baseline, if anyone is familiar in this side of Cebu. So, and I really love my room. I, I love the place. It's so cozy and I'm gonna do a quick room tour. So, um, that is the main door. I'll show you. And so when you, oh, uh, when you enter, the first thing that will um, appear on your right is the T and B toilet and bath. So this is their bathroom. It's simple but very sleek and it has everything that I need. Look at the shower. So yeah. There. It's just very straightforward but very clean and sleek. Let's see what's inside here. Oh they also have hygiene kits for me and a glass. Great. And now, this area is right here on your left. Uh, they have a jug of water and water heaters. Ah, a stove, a microwave, and a fridge. A two-door fridge, wow. So cool. I wonder what's inside here. Oh, great safety <laughs> and what is in here oh plates more stuff so this sit uh, this place um Citadin is basically a serviced apartment so yeah that's why the the place is um, complete with like you know like the things that you will need in a basic apartment and after that is the closet and they also have a safe and then work table and two beds and a sofa in between it's so cute and a telephone so yeah I'm gonna be working there in the next few days and like my stuff will be there and of course this view I don't know how to open it, but yeah, this view. So, where am I facing? Am I facing... Yeah. This side. <laughs> I don't know, I think this is facing uh, St. Therese SDC. Yeah, I think this I see SDC over there. So, yeah, I'm so happy with my room. Look at it! It's just sad I can't share it with anyone. It's just me, but oh well. Pamper time. <laughs> hey, so now I have freshened up. I feel so light and energetic again <laughs> after two days of traveling. So here I am in my room, in my sofa. And I'm gonna share with you some of the things that I've missed the video because you know, sometimes when you're in a queue or when you know, like in these things, uh, you're in a flight or you're traveling, there are some like parts that you have to be like fully present and you know, not like shoot around. And means and then they don't allow videos. So, so as earlier I've said, um, I already told you about um, from Male um, Airport what they needed from me. Then from Singapore, naman, so I, I stayed there overnight. 
and then um, a fun check in in the morning. They didn't need much from me. Um, it's just my passport and my boarding pass because basically I'm just a transit passenger. And when you arrive in Cebu, that is like the real deal is. So when we arrived, um, our, when our flight arrived, first um, we were, I know, um, we had a briefing with BOQ, our Bureau of Quarantine. So I included some shots of that. Um, they were telling us about what to expect, how many days are we in quarantine, and parang first they asked the, those unvaccinated people to go first. And then those vaccinated, um, na naiwan, they asked who among of those vaccinated people came from the green list because they have a separate briefing because again, um, they will have parang different, like parang they have shorter days of quarantine. And then, oh my gosh, I almost forgot, face shield. Do not forget your face shield, guys. I mean, <laughs> you cannot disembark from the plane if you don't have one. I mean, you can, but it will be a longer um, process for you because you will have to like, like, be on a line and then some people from the airport will give you face shield. Apparently, they were joking around it's $50, but I don't think it's true. But, you know, it's still better to have face shield para diretso diretso na. So after the BOQ orientation, uh, that's the time they told us na there was a change in the protocol because Emil told me that he will be released on the 10th day. But for us, we will be released on the 11th day and we can expect our swab test result on the 10th day evening. They will, take, they, will take, <laughs> they will take our swab test on the 7th day. So that sample we will receive on the 10th day, the result of that sample. So ayun, after after the BOQ um, briefing, we went to the validation counter where they will check your barcode. So they will check if everything in the barcode na you log in from MCIA website is in accordance to your passport. Then after validation, you will go to immigration, which is gonna be easy. They don't need anything, just your passport and your boarding pass. And then, um, also don't forget there will be some arrival cards and health declaration forms that you need to fill out while you're still in the plane. So it is better to fill those out because um, you know, you don't want to be like, you're, you're next now but then you don't have those papers. So you know, instead of going smoothly, you, you get stuck. And then after immigration, that's when we went down, um, for us OFWs, we went to the OWA counter since there's a lot of OFWs that time. We had to line up and sit down and wait until we were called. So OWA will give us our assigned hotel, and after that, you will get your you will have to do your swab test. So after OWA is swab test. That is the on arrival PCR. So if you are negative, they will not call you, they will not contact you. But if you are positive, they will contact you and tell you what to do next. Um, they said that why is it double? Parang it's better now because it's easier to detect if you're if you're infected or not. So yeah, it's it's good na din. It's good na din. And then so after that swab sample, um, you're free to go na. You'll just have to wait for the bus. Get your checked in luggage, wait for the bus to take you to the hotel, and then go. So, yun. And there are some, some things that if you're, uh, if you're arriving in Cebu, there are some things that you might need, you know, a little bit of pocket money. First is, um, there's this team of porters outside who are, like, um, who are going to assist you with your bags to load them in the, in the bus. I mean, for me, I only had one check-in luggage, so I didn't, I didn't need help. But then I saw na parang every they're escorting everyone, and parang nakakahiya naman. I mean, and, and I know these people are struggling with in these times, to you know, with the job, there's less passengers, so I just allowed Kuya na lang to bring my bag, and then, yun. So prepare for that. Um, then just give a little bit of tip, you know. And then next is, if you don't have a SIM, a SIM card, local SIM card, you can buy it from the bus driver 
the OA bus driver. So it's 100 pesos, including na siya, um, para may freebie na, na internet or data. So yun, that was sulit. Um, I only had 110, 110 pesos. 50 I gave to the porter, and then 60 na lang. So I'm kulang 40. Muti na lang <laughs> the person beside me, like he he sagot the 40. So thank you so much, kuya. But um, if you wanna change money from dollars to peso if, at the airport, you can do so. But the exchange rate is very low. Like as of today, when I checked video, it's 50. Per, uh, 50 pesos per dollar but in the airport it was 46 pesos per dollar but you can get exchanged also from kuya bus driver or if there's an OA personnel in the bus you can get it exchanged kanina it was 48 ang rate nila, 48 pesos per dollar so it was much better if nag, if nag pa change siya sa, sa bus instead of instead of at the airport but then at the bus um, they only had limited peso lang din so I wanted to change also, but they didn't have any more now. So, okay, and then they took us here. When we checked in, they it's not the usual check-in procedure. We just had to show our OA slip, the one that we got from the OA counter at the airport. Showed it to them, they gave us our room number, and then um, once I arrived in the room, there there were some papers I needed to fill out and put outside after I filled out. So that that's the ano na, that's the registration na. Ha! <laughs> oh uh, yeah. So everything is okay here. Um, some house rules are bawal bawal mag order ng food sa labas. They only allow like ordering from here in Saibay. I think they have abaca downstairs and sunburst. So only those two are allowed. Um, there will be free meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They gave us a schedule on like what day, uh, what times can we expect our meals, and yun lang. And you don't, you are not allowed to go out for any reason. If you have something very important to do, you can call the reception. They there's a telephone in the room. There. <laughs> Um, I hope I'm able to guide you and you know lessen your worries when uh, when it's your turn to fly to Cebu back to the Philippines. Uh, I'm medyo okay na din because Emil went first so he told me of the things to expect and yeah there are just some changes. I also expected I'll be in the same hotel quarantine as him but no sadly not but it's okay this is also a good good facility and yeah <laughs> all right i'll see you guys on my next videos probably more about my quarantine life because i'm, I'm gonna be stuck here for 10 days and if you have any questions just drop them in the comments and i'll see you next time bye